no religion, none in the world could ever condone such kind of inhuman brutality. We have a Quranic verse which says that even if you kill one person, it looks as if you have killed all mankind. That's exactly what this kind of tragedies mean because all of us become so saddened and uh, so much devastated in that sense. And then again, when we go through this kind of devastating experience, it is in faith, in religion that we seek refuge. Catholics certainly know we have participated in many acts of violence over the years in the name of religion. We can't deny that. And we must also atone for that history by now bringing our obligation to be peace builders uh, and people of justice who can bring an end to some of this. Guns are a lucrative business. So that's why we have to look into this and see that these guns are not used don't fall in the hands of people who could ultimately use them in a merciless way, killing innocent people. First of all, I don't think we have any gun control. I think uh, any gun control would be more. It's almost hypocritical to say that we're pro-life if we don't do anything to stop this terrible assault against life. Um, certainly we should protect the unborn, but we also must protect those who are born and who are living life every day. The fact is now, you cannot think about going into any large public gathering, whether it's a church or a movie theater or a nightclub or a sporting event, and not worry about the fact that you could be the next victim. What a terrible way to live life. And, and even if it doesn't happen to you, the curtailment of your emotional and intellectual and, and social freedom is a terrible blight on our democracy. I think the church absolutely has a role to play and should be as fervent about advocating for gun control as it has been about other life issues.